Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome to the episode today, guys. While this is an episode, this is just going to be a tutorial real quick. I'm going to try and get this done as quick as possible. I'm going to be doing a metal iron farm today. Similar to this, what you can see here. It's going to kick me out in a minute. This is our survival world we're on. Currently on week 8 progress. Disconnected from the world. But I'm going to go into a tutorial creative world real quick. See what's good. Right, I'm gonna get this done as quick as possible. We're gonna build this out and never right. This is what it's gonna look like, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. The beds can be uh, different. The beds are a bit messed up, but ah oh, well. This is what it's gonna look like. So let's get going. I'm gonna go and do this all the way away from this one, okay? I'd say about here. Here's a good distance, I'd say. Right, let's start now. We want one, two, three, four. We want to check. This is going to be the kill chamber at the bottom. We we'll do this as quick as possible. Lickety split. One. So from the bottom is one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten. So it's ten high. I wish I could like skip this part, but you know I can't. You know, like when you're doing like just the the building parts. So once you get all four corners ten high, then you can start building your your bowl. Basically, it's basically a bowl. I call it. I call it the bowl. Connect all these up. So now we're gonna gonna wanna go nine out from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same, same, same this way and the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So you don't have to count that. Just copy. Just copy once you know you've got it correct. Yep. So once you do this all the way like here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That cow down there is gonna nose my head, I bet ya. Yeah. So once you've done your nine going all the way around, and let me go on a bit of height for this. Once you've got your nine going round, you're gonna wanna connect them, all the corners. Yeah, so we'll do that first. Bit of a bad view. That's a better view, you can see more now. Go over to here. This is basically just gonna be the bowl of it though. It's gonna be I'm gonna do this as quick as possible for you guys. There's a bunch of stuff I have in my inventory that I'm gonna have to change, but that's okay. Because I built one over there recently and I was just uh testing it. I actually had someone come in here and actually start trying to troll me because <laughs> I didn't put it on invite only, I guess. Or someone on my friends list. Huh, what a friend. Came in here and started blowing stuff up, and I was like, wow. But I might upload that video. It's an hour long. It's an hour long. Um, the same type of thing. Away. It's a tutorial. I was building that one over there, but it took me quite a while to do because of that. the few issues I had. So I'm going to try and do it a bit quicker on this one for you guys. It'd be good if you could have a tool that just filled it all in. You know what I mean? Just click fill. Fill box. Done. Done. Use material. This material. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, but anyway, we will get this done regardless. I'm just not used to building in creative. I'll be better. I'm better off building in survival. That's the, that's that's the, that's the brass tax. I play survival all my life. I rarely come to a creative server only to do stuff like this. Maybe try a few things out. But I tried my best to be able to just test things on, on survival as well. To be honest, um. Whenever I'm playing this game, I just want to be on survival. Right then, so... Yes, it's a boring boring job, but at the end of it, guys, you'll be balls deep in iron. You're probably skipping this part. I don't blame you guys, honestly. That's all good, man. If you need to skip, you skip it. But don't skip too far now. 
quite fortunate that my videos aren't adver um, monetized at the moment as well guys so there's no advertisement so you can skip as much as you want and you won't get spiked with an ad <laughs> Zach sometimes throws me off when I'm watching a tutorial and I get to one part and then skip and then an advertisement comes up and I'm like oh do you have a pair of new shoes <laughs> You know, depending what the advertisement is, I, I, I could I, I, I fancy a KFC. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, oh, what was I doing? <laughs> but anyway, once you've got this part filled up, you want to raise, you want to create the bowl. This is kind of the plate of it at the minute. This is where all the water's going to be, the kill chamber. Basically, you see what it's going to be. I seen, I showed you at the start, didn't I? <laughs> I'll probably have a nice little thumbnail picture of it afterwards as well, if I can. Right. So, just trimming off any superficial issues. Quickly, just finish that. Now, we're going to want to go too high here in the corners. One, one, two. Now, when you do too high, you're going to want to... You're going to want to uh, just go all the way around the rim. Rim. Well, yeah, you're gonna want to go too high to be honest. So if you wanted to, you could just do too too high, and then just you know, I'm gonna do the next on this next line. I'm gonna do it on the. I'm gonna pretend to do it on survival mode and watch how much more efficient I am. All right, so you've, you've done the two. All right, I'm not that efficient, am I? Feels like I'm doing it a bit quicker though. So we just go around like this. All the way around. The hardest part of doing this farm, guys, is by far putting the villagers where they need to be. On my world, I dug it into the floor, so it would be a lot lower down, a lot easier to get them to where they need to be. So you can do that, but I'm on a super flat world at the moment, so I, you can't. I kind of um, haven't got a choice unless I want to break bedrock and go and do it underneath the world. Chain impossible, but yeah, I can't be doing with that. So once you've got that all the way around, you're gonna want leaf blocks. Now let's go and find some leafy leaf. Leafy leaf. We'll go for the. We'll go for some dark oak this time. I like the dark oak. So once you do that, they are much better in survival. I swear to God. Once you do this, yeah. This is to just stop the mobs from spawning on here, like, you know, the golems. You don't want the golems spawning everywhere, so this is kind of going to make sure they don't spawn here and they spawn within the, uh, the chamber. Alright, now once you've got that, you're going to want glass. Actually, no, we'll do this part first, because it, we've got the materials, so you want to build something like that, so when you put the water down here, it's just going to all flow nice, you know what I mean? Real nice, real smooth, real smooth, you know what I mean? Don't know what I'm doing here, I'm trashing joint. Put this back here. But yeah guys, you can add, add more, add less, it doesn't really matter. As long as the water flow is correct and, you know, you've got it all lickety split. You should be sweet. But yeah, this is probably how I would do it. That's correct, yeah? Correct the Mondo. Right, next up, we'll probably get the glass out. We'll get the glass. Where's the glass? Where's the glass? Where's the glass? We'll get some glass. Glass is good. We don't need leaves anymore, but I'm going to leave them just in case I break something. Uh, No, I'm going to get rid of the leaves. Get rid of the leaves. Screw it. We don't need the leaves. Right, so we want the glass like this. You're gonna be it's safe. This is the front of it where you know you're gonna be looking at it at this end. You're just gonna want to go here, go here, put a block there, put a block there, put a block there. You're gonna want to break it so you can't fall through, but you can see a little hole. And then once you've done that, you're just gonna build like this. This is going to be the chamber for where your villagers are building. I mean, where your villagers are going to be like, you know, living <laughs> for the rest of their lives. So you're going to want it <coughs> approximately like this. Just so they've got somewhere to, to sit. I don't have to get rid of that piece of glass because 
it's not really a mistake at this point. So yeah, and then we'll click, we'll snip it off with that. Bang, done that. Then we go underneath it like this. Like so. Then we're going to want to create the chambers. So we've got one. Uh, yeah, we've got one. Two. No, we've got three now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've actually got one extra here, I think. And it's this one. So we don't need this. There we go. And it should look something like that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it should look like that. Then once you've done that, you can fill the, the glass in on the back. Because you ain't going to want your villagers to get out now, are you? So let's do this as quick as possible. Okay. That's sweet. That is a sour wheat. Now, yeah. Now, right, let's go and do the other side. So, again, this is your front. You go, you, you're you in the middle. You stand there. Oh. You stand about here, in the middle. You go all the way to the side. You put one block there. You put one block there. You put another block there. Bang, bang. And then you start with the chamber. You've got that little gap there, you know, you, you run at it, you can't get it, there's a little gap there, see at the floor, yeah, don't look nice, but it works out, so you, then you do the same as the last one, perfection, perfection, I think that's correct. <coughs> To be honest, I think that's correct. Alright, so then you're going to want to put the uh, bottom part on of it so the villagers don't fall out. And really, this is just... This is just... Uh, this is exactly the same as that, really, isn't it? So you're just going to create your chambers now. First chamber was... Here. So you got... One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, now put the back on. Perfection. Well, almost perfection. Right. Now we've got both of these in play, yeah. You don't actually have to, I'm gonna actually clean that up, you don't need them blocks there, make it look tidier, make it look a lot tidier. But yeah, alright then. So let's do this now. We're gonna want water. We're gonna want water at this point. <coughs> so we get ourselves a bucket of water. A bucket of water. And we will now Get rid of get rid of the minecart for now, screw it, we don't need a minecart just yet. Put water in every one of your compartments. I'm not hundred percent on what this does. Maybe it just keeps them on ice. Keeps them chilled out. Keeps them watered and fed. So yeah. Another great time to actually be able to count your stuff as well, you know what I mean? Count if you've got it all right and correct. Now, while you've got the water out, you might as well pl start placing your water here. One in each corner, and then what I like to do is just fill the rim up. Just rim it a bit, just like, you know, just slush it there, all on the bottom blocks there. All on the bottom. You should push it, you should push it and push it. But if um, there's an issue like that, then I'll show you in a minute. Now, source blocks, create all source blocks on the side here, like so.
And then here. But see how there's an issue here. See how it, it's not like how you would see. Now what I sometimes, what I've, I do to actually fix that, as I'll just put some blocks, like so. Give me a moment. All the way to the end like that. Now do that all the way around. And then do it again. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to <coughs> redo the source blocks that you've just done and do them above that. So we get the water bucket again <coughs> and we try not to make it into a source block. <laughs> so let me just break that again. Remove this. What am I doing? <laughs> Oops. Bear with me on that one, guys. See how it's doing that source block stuff there? I don't like that. That's irritating. We'll just continue with this part here and I'll come back to that. Yeah, I'll we'll sort that out after. That was going right up to it now, though. You've just got to put the source block on the rim like that. And hope. Well, to be honest, even like that, it'd work. But you want to get the water as nice as possible. You want it looking sparkling, you know what I mean? And once you've got it like that, it'll all flow straight to the center. To be honest, it really don't matter if there's a source block here because there's not much, there's not, it's not often when, you know, it, that'll happen. And to be honest, I've got to just do it like that. See how that one is. It really doesn't matter if it's a little bit like skittish there. It'll still go straight flowing in. Let's fix this real quick. Break them now. We redo that water. And there you go. See how it still flows? That is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. And we'll redo this side real quick as well, just to make it uh, like, you know, symmetrical. So let's break this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Replace that. There. They won't get stuck, they'll flow smooth. So if you ever have trouble with water, you've just got to mess around with it a little bit and I'm sure you can you can get it to how you want it with a few blocks and a few buckets. And it's helpful that I'm on... Oh dear, what happened there? What happened there? There's me saying that and I'm, I'm sound like a hypocrite. Oh yeah, you can do anything with water, just, you know, you got to fiddle with it. And there's me, um, struggle ruggling. But there you go, guys, that's how it's going to go. It's going to flow, flow, flow. Got to do one more, and then we'll be able to sort something else out. Probably go on to the villages next. Just block it off, redo it. Come on. Slap that down. And there she goes, straight into the center. How you love it, how you like it, how you love it. Right then, now let's get the eggs. This is the... Uh, now the thing is, guys, for this part, you're going to want to actually put these up until you get them in. See how I've got left them open. You're going to want to put them like that. This is where the falchion tables are going to go, but 
for this moment and time. You're just going to just use glass or something that you don't care about. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to... This is this is really, like, a shame because, like, I feel bad how I'm doing this now. Because this is the hardest part that you guys are going to have, is getting the villagers in here. No joke. It's the hardest part. It's, yeah, it's by far the hardest part. I'll do a tutorial on how to move and transport villagers into places on one of the next um, episodes. But, um, yeah, I'll, for now, I'll just tell you how I did it. I used a boat. And you can check my live stream on my actual survival world where I actually built my, my own one. I used a boat. <laughs> I used a goddamn boat. Come on. Don't. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, there you go. You have to let them bob up and down. You have to put one block there. And go mad. You have to go mad trying to get the block in place. Come on. Yeah, so make sure you got a silk touch pickaxe if you're using glass. Because you will lose some. See that green jacket there? That green jacket also, guys, if you see a villager who's a green jacket, he is unable to partake in this uh, in this task. He has to leave. He's unable to partake. He can't take jobs. He can't accept jobs. I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he's a dosser. I don't know. But yeah, let's throw that one in there. Let's put the glass on top. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Next one. Also, guys, if you're interested in possibly checking out our servers or realms, please uh, check out my overlay information on my Discord if you need to add my Discord. That's cool. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to get as many people as I can in there. Anyone who's subscribed to my channel um, should be in there. That'd be awesome. So, uh, trying to create a bit of a community, you know what I mean? Like get like a couple thousand people in there, that'd be nice, that'd be nice. But yeah guys, if you are interested, please hit that like button, and if you're interested in our live streams, maybe add the bell notification, that'd be awesome. <coughs> it's one I don't really ask people to do, but if you're interested in what we do, then that's it. Um, right there, they're all set up at the minute. Now let's go and do these ones. But any villagers in the area of this farm have to I can't be here. They can't. The only villagers you can have in the area while you're doing this and setting it up is these villagers. If any step in, come in. If the, you know, if you have any villagers, like say, if you got some in the Nether and one comes through the portal while you're doing this, it'll mess it up. It'll mess it up, man. If someone brings a villager nearby, it'll mess it up, man. If someone trade, if you trade with one of these villagers before you've gave them the falchion trade, they'll permanently stay as that trade. Uh, you, you know, and that's not going to work on this so you're going to have to have brass tax, vi brass tax villagers like these have got jobs now at the moment but because I haven't traded with them it won't stay there it's not locked in you know what I mean now I, I, I'm not sure if you can lock them into the falchion after you've done this to, to like further cement their job role but I haven't actually tested that in my world just yet because I'm kind of like <laughs> worried but these guys here need to die so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the kill chamber now guys here we go we'll put some glass in here nice glass so we can just see what's actually going on you know what I mean like we can see the lava flowing down and you guys can just see the inner workings of the whole kill chamber now this is not my design guys this is a design I, I you know, I've seen on YouTube by many a people. I even did this design myself in my own world. I even followed a certain tutorial. It might have been from JC Plays or something. He, he's a really, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's very good at his designs. But um, I tweaked mine a little bit. You know, everybody tweaks theirs a little bit. But I don't know who I could take props to. Like, congratulations, dude. You did, you did an awesome job too. Because there's a lot of people that... I've kind of tweaked their own versions of this now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put some uh, magma cubes. Well, actually, we're going to do we're going to want to put the chest down first. I'd say it's always good to start from the bottom up. <coughs> I do two chests. I do one here and do one uh, one here. I have like a double collection system. You can have one, but I like to have two. 
We're going to need some hoppers. So let's look for hopper, hopper, hopper. Best way to, for me to find it is to just search hopper, hop, or ho, whatever you want to know. That's hopper. Well, I'm going to need the train tracks as well. So I'm not going to need the water anymore, though. So that'll do. So get the hoppers. We want to put the hoppers on the chests. Bang. Bang, 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 nicely. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get up to the top here. So if you're in creative, this is what you're going to be doing. <laughs> I mean, <it's> survival. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to put some train tracks here, like this. Now, I don't know how I did it. Oh, dear. Rude. Move. This isn't your shove. Told you. Anyway, um, I need a minecart, hopper minecart, minecart with a hopper, 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 hopper. Put that there. Put this here. It should go round. I did have two on here on my server, and uh, like you know what I mean when I showed you. Let me try and do it. Wait, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Let me oh, there we go. I, I, I had two of them on there then. See that? Did you see that? You have to like spam. Spam it a bit to get two of them on there. Give me a second. Give me a moment. Give me a quick moment. Oh, that one's there. I'll move this around, let it spin. And then, yeah, and then you can get like the momentum of that there, like that. And then they will collect and put in there. That is clever. That is. That's how I did it. And that's my. That's kind of my little design, guys. That's that's my design. That that isn't on any of the other YouTube videos that you see. That is literally my design. Now we're gonna want to fill this back in with glass. Oh, look at these. Oh, quite oh. beautiful, nice. I've got um. Get the glass. Thank you for the glass. Put the glass back there. Bring it back down. It's nice to see the glass. It's nice to see the inner workings of everything. I swear, dude, uh, yeah, this is what's going to have to happen here. I am sorry. But, um, yeah, it's good to see the inner workings. It's really nice to see the inner workings. I mean, you could also like drop the drop box level down here, like so. They could just walk to it. Ah, oh, damn. But yeah, guys, I need a uh, never again. I don't know why I decided to make this out of never, never right blocks, but hey, it's, it's it looks nice, right? <laughs> looks expensive. And then just do that. little collection area you know you come down and you you access and you're know, bing bang bong nice okay so let's go back up to the top now we're going to want to put insert our lava so one two three four right so now that's in place that should look pretty very pretty very pretty now this guy needs to go and test it because we can't have any villagers around so that was convenient right secondly now we're going to need the beds now the beds the beds one two three four it's good to have them four off the ground so once you've done that you're going to want to build around this magma chamber am i on top of it no i'm not on top of it just build around it in a square like so and then you're going to want to place as many beds as you goddamn can. So, all right, let's do this. Do it like this. Keep going around. Well, you're not as many beds as you can. You're going to need 20 beds. 20 beds need to be placed down. 20 beds to attach to their workstations. So, right, here we go. I'll do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
one, two. So that's sixteen already there. So, but what I'm going to do next? I'm going to do it like this. I mean, you could you could do it nicely. You could have it like so, make look, do some little pattern or something. You know what I mean? Like, but you just got to make sure you've got twenty beds basically. So six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We got twenty beds there. That's perfect. Once you've done that, break the blocks away as quick as you can. Just don't break the goddamn beds. I'm doing this on Bedrock Edition as well, guys, just in case you're wondering what platform I'm on. Okay, so now you've done that, the last step comes into play. Vouching tables. Vouching tables is the job that they need to take. Well, it doesn't need, it can be any, but I've learned is less problems with a vouching table. You place one down, and somebody wants the job. He wants the job. You see the lights, the little stars, he will come up, he will take the job. You will break it, yeah? And he will change back to a normal villager. So the j any safeties have got jobs, yeah? And you think, oh, I can't do it because I've already got jobs. No. As soon as you put that down, it'll change. The one that wants a job will change. And then you have to break the f table. He'll change back. Break this block here that I've used to stop him from getting out. And then bang. Now he's got the job. Now you have to do this 20 times, so let's do this as quick as we can. I hope you guys understand. Right, see him over there? He sparkled because of that sparkled. So, there he is. He's lost his job. He's about to get a new job. Boom. There you go. Put the next one down. Let's do this as quick as we can. It's him. Him over there. And see, as you notice, you'll put it down. He'll change into the outfit for a voucher. And then when you break the block, he change, changes back. The reason that is... Is because he's taking the job and you're breaking the block and he's losing the job. So you need to just, this is just to try and find out where these guys, what blocks need to be in which place. You can't just go around and place every block down thinking, oh, that'll do. You have to do this process to activate the spawn of golems. Trust me. This is where a lot of people go wrong. This is where I went wrong. This is where I went wrong for the longest time. And you guys will notice that if I struggle on something while building something, I will put a lot of emphasis on it because I I I, <laughs> I tried to make content that would have helped me. If I watched a, a tutorial or a video, and I'm thinking, hang on, this wasn't explained well enough for me. Now the person who explained it was probably legit at explaining it. It's just my level of understanding things, so. I'm not saying that the person who made the video did, was doing a bad job. I'm saying me as a person was listening in a bad way and I wasn't quite getting it. So which one was this? I think it is that one over there. <coughs> but yeah, some people are like that though. Some people don't grasp things as quick as others and some sometimes it takes a little to get around certain people's heads. <coughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's like we're all different and... We're all on different IQ levels, and it's not a bad thing. It's just that I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't like saying this, but I'm, I'm not the fastest person in the world, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> I'm not the cleverest, um, but I just try. I try and do my best <laughs> for, with what I've got. So as you can see, I'm doing this process, just going to each one that's taking the jobs. It's a little bit of a lengthy process. It's, an, it's annoying. It is annoying. This is the like I said. This is. The second hardest annoying job. So, in my order of hardest jobs, it'd be locating the villagers. Come on, take that job. It'd be locating the villagers, <coughs> transporting them into these pods. Then it would be probably doing this vouching table stuff. Which one is, is it? Which one is it? It was him. Doing this vouching state table stuff would probably be the, <coughs> the second hardest. And then actually just building it, to be honest. <coughs> building it. Building it's the easiest part, in my opinion. Now, I, I enjoy building things. I enjoy digging. When it comes to the technical stuff like now, I, I, I struggle with. But yeah, I've also noticed that when you do little videos like this, it also helps you as a person helps you wrap your mind around the concepts a little bit more and 
I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll always know how to, once I've built, because I've built this like three times, four times now, I will always know how to build one of these. Always. Which one is it? It's, it the, it's him. No? What? Alright, let's have a look here. It was him. It was him. I seen him change. If you sometimes struggle on which one it is, like, look. I mean, it's him over there. That one wasn't difficult. You just have to really, like, be placing the block down in a position you can see everybody. Now, there's just one more left. I know it's over there, but I'm still going to place it over here and wait for him to call out for the job. Yep, there we go. There we go. Now, let's place this down. Now, once he changes... Now, now golems should technically start spawning, guys. That is it. You are complete, and that is the finished product. You can do a build a nice little staircase coming up and down. You can do a shimmy to the left, a shimmy to the right. Everything will be all right. But now, that should be it. That, that is it. That, my friends, is it. Now, while I'm waiting for him to spawn, I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit more how I've got mine on my world. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. I like to do it. Hopefully they start spawning soon and don't make me look like a fool. But you've got all your beds connected up to them. You've got all, they've got all their jobs. Everything is legit. No crafting tables. You can't have any crafting tables in the area besides the falchion tables that they have. But once it's all set up and they're spawning and you know it's working, you can actually start putting, you can put down tables again. You can put down anything you want, really. Listen, can you hear them tapping? Not, not the Neverack dropping, but can you hear them tapping? I can hear them tapping the boxes. Hear them. And well, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to spawn one in. That's what tapping the boxes is. If you hear tapping, that they're trying, they're, it's trying to work. Might take a second for it to start in the beginning, but it'll get there. Sometimes I spawn in onto my server, and I actually start screwing because I'm like, "Yo, why ain't it working? What's going on?" But it does start eventually. I'm just doing this here real quick because. Give me a platform to walk around on. Right then. And it's just a case of waiting now. Waiting for them to tap their magic. <clears throat> they look a bit skittish though, can you see them? They look a bit skittish at the moment, I'm not sure. Let me stop my spawn. Bed is obstructed. God knows. Right, let me just make a little staircase while that's happening. You can make it look as pretty as you want as well. I mean, if you look on our world, on our realm that we've got on our servers, we this is the uh, like the bog standard technique, really. This is what we do. Yeah, this is looking. And yeah, that's all set up how it should be. Just waiting for one to spawn at the minute, guys. Okay, so. 
all this little stuff I'm doing here you really don't have to do, but I'm just waiting for one to spawn to see if it actually starts producing. Okay, where are they? I don't know if torches help them, but on my server I have torches, you know what I mean? I haven't made any trades with the villagers yet, so I don't know if I have to be in a better standing with them. Ain't enough light, then I swear down. I don't know what it is. Come on, guys, just spawn some iron. Oh, hang on. I think it's because I'm in peaceful mode. Let's change the sounds. Change it to survival, real quick. If it happens, oh, damn, everything's spawning now. Give me a bed, I'm going to put a bed over here. All them zombies that just spawned. There we go. I was correct. I was correct. It was something to do with peaceful. Oh, there we go, boys and girls. Iron farm. Ah, there you go. It isn't too bad. It'll be harder on. So it will be harder on. Um, it will be a lot harder on survival. God damn, it will be hard. Uh, that slime never stood a chance. I'm gonna quickly go and check. See if any iron actually ended up in there. Two and one. Yeah, so there is iron going in there. I'd like to see if I can get one more to spawn quickly. Come on, guys, you can do it. You know you can do it. Maybe I need to move that one bed that's down there, to be honest. I bet it is not needed. There we go. They be spawning. I see one of these spawn and I'll be happy. One of them. Just one, 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 one. Just want to see one? Come on, guys. And then I'm done. And then that's the wrap for the video, guys. But it varies. It does vary. I see how the cats are spawning there. Cats spawn in the, like, similar to columns, so... Rip, I'm sorry. Can't say no cats were not hurt now in the making of this video. There we go. There we go. So he's spawning. Spawning right there, going down, slickety slick. That's it, guys. And that is it. And it'll collect down there. That's the iron farm, guys. I'm going to switch this back into creative before it gets smacked by that skeleton. Boom. Happy days, guys. And that's what it is. Do, 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 do. And it actually works. But yeah, guys. If you, anyone wants to join our servers or realms, you're interested in possibly playing with us or being a part of our streams, uh, please uh, check out the overlay. Add the Discord on the bottom right. That would be awesome. 
I swear they don't want to spawn in front of my eyes, but you know. I feel like creative mode they might not you know, it might not work in creative mode, I don't know. But it, this is the technique and this is how it's done and this is how it's built. But yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed that episode. It's been pretty good, it's been pretty cool, I've enjoyed it. Let's see how let's see how long it took us to do. But if you have any questions man, there is also there is plenty and plenty and plenty of tutorials on um on on YouTube. I mean you're probably not gonna end up checking this video out, you know, there's so many people already got their own designs and they're already doing stuff, so but if you do check this one out, that's awesome, dude. So I really appreciate that. Check out my other content, my live streams, 10 hours a day. But yeah, guys, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Have a good one. Peace.